today, GPU prices are still falling. Some 7000 X3D parts are burning, new AMD GPUs releasing when, and Ryzen 8000 that can crush NVIDIA's 40 series of GPUs? Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. First up for today, GPU prices are still continuing to fall. I know I've been doing a lot of stories like this lately, but the price drops simply keep coming. First up, we have a story from Micro Center that shows the retailer is giving away $100 Steam gift cards with all RTX 40 series GPUs listed on the site. And while they did sponsor today's video, it wasn't for this story. Not only that, but AMD's RX 6950 XT just dropped even lower. More specifically, the ASRock Phantom 6950 XT GPU is now going for $599, and that obviously puts it right at the RTX 4070's base MSRP. When comparing the two GPUs, you can see that at least in rasterization, the RX 6950 XT beats Nvidia's 4070 in most games, but loses a bit in ray tracing. Basically, it depends on what kind of games you like to play and how you like your settings. Some other differences would be that the 4070 takes less power and comes a DLSS 3, but the 6950 XT has more memory, and we've seen how important that can be lately. At the end of the day, it's really up to your preferences as both cards have something to offer. Today's video is sponsored by Micro Center. If you've been following the channel, you know that Micro Center is opening a new store location in Indianapolis. But what you may not have known is that you can get a coupon for a free 128GB flash drive at the new store when it opens this summer. Plus, you'll be the first to know upcoming deals and announcements. If you haven't visited a Micro Center yet, you're in for a treat because it's one of the only places you can actually go to get everything you need for your PC build. I mean, graphics cards, CPUs, motherboards, PC cases, and even parts for a custom water cooling loop. Plus, they're having some great deals on Apple products all month long, like this MacBook Pro with $150 off. Basically, Micro Center is the best, and it's why I got parts for my first ever build there. So when you're ready to pick up that new flash drive or look at those Apple deals, visit the links in the description below. But hurry, because I'm not sure if they're going to run out or not. Next up for today, it looks like some users are having issues with their 7000 X3D parts. The story originally comes from a post on Reddit, where the user SpeedRookie shared some pretty shocking images of some damage done to their 7800 X3D as well as the CPU socket. As you can see, the CPU pad itself is bulging out, so this is definitely a lot of damage. No, that's a lot of damage! According to the user, they didn't overclock the CPU or anything like that, they just had AMD's Expo memory on. He he left the PC in an idle state, but when he returned, it was unable to post with an error essentially saying the CPU wasn't there. As far as what caused it, Igor's lab was able to align the pinout diagrams from AMD with the pins that were damaged, and according to him, they were all for supplying power to the cores, so it definitely seems like the power delivery got way too high and damaged it. But why that is, we don't really know at the moment. I will say that shortly after this story broke, users noticed that MSI added a BIOS that restricts Ryzen 7 1000 X3D voltages, so they're definitely working on something. Luckily, both AMD and ASUS were fairly quick to offer a return for a new CPU, but Gamers Nexus was able to beat them to it, so we'll likely see an update from them on the matter. Either way, there have apparently been other users with a similar issue, so hopefully something gets figured out soon. For updates on this story, make sure you're subscribed to GamerMeld. Next up, it looks like new GPUs are on their way and fast. The story originally comes from a new report by Igor's Lab, where he mentions that AMD board partners will in fact be showing off the Radeon RX 7600 at this year's Computex. Of course, we recently heard something similar about their higher-end cards, but Igor's Lab claims that the 7800 XT would have a tough time being profitable for AMD because it would be competing with the 4070. Either way, he seems very confident about the 7600. Going as far as calling it confirmed. Regardless, Computex starts at the end of next month, so more affordable GPUs are finally on their way. Not only that, but it sounds like there could be a 7700 XT coming as well, though we'll have to see. Finally, according to Igor's lab, it looks like the 4060 Ti is set to launch at the end of May or the beginning of June. This part isn't confirmed, but there's been rumors saying similar things recently as well. I guess time, as always, will tell. 
And lastly for today, there's a huge story about a monster AMD product that'll knock your socks off. But before I get to that, we have a story about their upcoming Ryzen 8000 APUs, codenamed Strixpoint. Both of these stories come from Moore's Law is Dead. Either way, Strixpoint is set to be a monolithic APU based on Zen 5 and Zen 5C with an RDNA 3 Plus based iGPU. When it comes to the core count, they get up to 12 cores, with 4 cores and 8 threads being Zen 5 and 8 cores and 16 threads being Zen 5C. Remember that the C variant is expected to be a small, low power core, but essentially the same architecture. So it isn't a completely different core design like Intel's 12th or 13th gen CPUs. It also apparently comes with a whopping 24 megabytes of L3 cache. But the interesting part is that it reportedly comes with 16 RDNA 3 Plus CUs, so more than the current 7040 series APUs. And according to this, it's expected to trade blows with the Notebook 3050. So not bad, but this brings me to the huge part of the story. And when I say huge, I mean massive. Because if this is right, AMD is planning Halo APUs, set to compete with Apple's M series of chips, and wow can they compete. According to the report, the high-end monster comes with 16 cores and 32 threads. It's expected to be 25% faster than their 16 core Dragon Range part, and get this, the iGPU comes with an unbelievable 40 CUs. That's quite a bit more than the rumored 7600 XT, and it's built from their RDNA 3 Plus architecture. Not only that, but it would allegedly compete with Nvidia's RTX 4070 laptops. Yeah, an integrated GPU that can challenge Nvidia's new RTX 4000 GPUs. There's also apparently a 32 CU model that can challenge the 4060, and 24 and 20 CU models that challenge the 4050. Basically, if this is true, AMD's APUs could destroy the low to even mid-range discrete GPU market. As for release dates, the regular Strix Point is set to come sometime in Q2 to Q3 of 2024, and the Halo products will reportedly make their way in the second half of 2024. So while that does it for today, are you pumped for an APU that can crush GPUs? Or are you just ready for more mid-range GPUs? Let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to check out Micro Center down in the description below. And as always, have a great day.